we are starting a new job up in Inverness, Illinois. Hopefully we get a lot of work done today because those clouds do not look promising. First snowfall of the year. Just to show you how cold it is. Yes, those are ice chunks, a total whiteout. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. All right, Jack, super cool one. We've got a little patio coming in off of this. Think of it more as a landing, just done out of blue stone right here, bridge. Coming over to another bigger patio. They wanna add the fire bowl over here. Big long stream coming through here. I don't know, it's not that long. Kind of a fun stream coming through here. All granite boulders. Stake is, is about where the urn is gonna go. It's also the wetland filter. So we're gonna have to dig all that out. We're gonna work from up here and work our way back. First thing I want you guys to do is strip off all this grass. So bring that sod cutter, bring a dump trailer if you want or just put it in the back of the Azuzu. I don't really care, but we're just stripping off grass from here that way for now. Stream's gonna come. There's gonna be a bridge right about here. There's some a drainage pipe in here. So we'll make sure we continue our stream up and over the drainage pipe. And then we have to probably reroute the drainage pipe, but no big deal. Tomorrow's goal is really just kind of get back in here, strip off off the grass and see if we can't start digging some of that wetland up in there and hauling dirt to wherever we need to haul it to. Later, there's a big pond coming in this space. Tomorrow Tomorrow we can come through this area here. This is super important. We can take out whatever fence panels we want, but you've got a box here and a box there. So let's take out this fence. You can see how none of them are actually hooked together. So I think we can just kind of dig around the footings and pull this thing out. Do not strap the center of this and try to pull it out in the center. You will 100% bend that. Still strap it down towards the base of these poles down in there and it'll come out without any disruption. If we bend something, I'd rather bend it down in there than up in here. So that comes out. We can crawl right through here. Don't even worry about taking these plants out. Just drive right over them or put plywood over them. The other important thing, you got to hug this bush line here. There's all septic out in here, so we can't stay out in there. You can see the drive right there. Feels like 12 sheets, 15 sheets for the machine. And then as our rock and gravel comes, we're just going to put some sheets out over here. I don't know, bring 30. Bring them all. We'll just put a big pad down and, and all the rock and stuff can see. Right here, the homeowner has an amazing, amazing, amazing amazing outdoor living area. I mean, you can tell that he lives outside. They were telling me they just got the pool done two years ago and the kitchen area, which is absolutely spectacular. The patio is actually from Israel, so we're gonna do our best. We are not gonna step on the patio. Dirtying anything up, we're gonna contain our mess to this area here. So the grade change from where I'm standing to that lamppost over there is roughly around, I would maybe say 15 inches. So it's gonna be a super cool meandering stream, Babley Brook style waterfalls going through here. So super excited about this project. I know we have Billy, Chrissy, Tyler, and David, myself, and Brian, of course, that are going to be out here. So stay tuned and see what we can do. wetland where we want it situated. We're going to do four aqua blocks wide and then three long here. And then our snorkel and centipede are going to be sitting in that middle section here. But we're going to get that in once we get the hole down to our desired depth. So this well is going to start our headwaters of our stream and then meander on down against this patio into the pond. <music> got our wetland 100% dug out. We don't have it done yet. We are waiting for our rock and gravel, which is hopefully gonna come the next day that we're gonna be out here. We don't know if we're gonna be back out tomorrow because unfortunately we are gonna be experiencing some rain in the next couple days. So we got everything prepped just in case we are not out here, which the good thing is, is that whenever it seems like we tarp, it does not rain. So fingers crossed that we'll be back out tomorrow. We're gonna throw our 25 by 25 piece of liner in here with of course our fabric on the bottom and on top, then throw all of our aqua blocks inside, get some cobbles around that thing and then rock this thing up so that way we can keep cruising along because we're going to be working our way from this corner all the way to over there. I think Brian mentioned earlier about how tight the access is. The machine literally, we had to tie this tree up just to dig the wetland out. So we dug a little bit more today just out in there. We were able to find our irrigation lines and our drainage pipe. So we got all that stuff rerouted. We have to pick up some stuff from the shop in the morning and then we'll be all set. So fingers crossed we're out here tomorrow. If not, then for you guys, you guys won't make a difference because it's YouTube land. So hopefully you guys have a good day. I know 
cool. It's a gorgeous day out. Chris, what do you think about the weather today? Beautiful. Yeah, I know uh, it's probably gonna be one of the last nice days that we have out here in Chicago, right? So I know we're gonna probably go enjoy it when we get home. Hopefully it won't be dark by the time we get home. I know we have an hour drive back to the shop and then for you and I, we have another hour back home. So stay tuned and see what we're out here tomorrow or not. All right, started day two. We fortunately tarped everything for the unfortunate rain that was coming, which it did, but that did not stop us from coming out here. Today's focus is to get this wetland in. So we're gonna get, we have our one piece of fabric in already. Billy and Chris are waiting on me. You can see Chris all over in the background back there. They got the 25 by 25 piece of liner that we're gonna throw down in here. Once we get the liner in, we're gonna get another piece of fabric in and then we're gonna start putting all of our aqua blocks and gravel in. So stay tuned. <laughs> It is Thursday, which is the third consecutive day we've been out here, which is really good because as you can tell, the clouds do not look promising today. Again, we are experiencing rain again today, but we are out here trying to get as much work as we possibly can get done in the allotted time that we have before the rain gets here, which I think we're doing pretty good. We got our little highway coming all the way from the side of the yard, which Tyler and Billy are over there right now grabbing some cobbles and some gravel. They're getting everything staged here. You can see we have some plywood and some fabric covering this patio. We do not want to damage anything on this patio. Whenever we're doing jobs and we're working actual patio, we like the fabric and cover everything because we do not want to inconvenience the customer um, damaging anything. So we have Tyler, he's grabbing all these cobbles that you can see here, making a small pile here. And then Billy is grabbing the dingo and using the dingo for some larger gravel and the bigger boulders are gonna be coming through here. Our goal is to kind of finish up this wetland up or at least kind of rock in all the big stuff, leave the edges nice and high. That way when it gets running, we can come through here and do all our edges. But our focus right now is getting this sphere in, which you can see I have my sphere leveled off, my standpipe up, and I'm just backfilling with some cobbles right now, and that's just to secure it. So no wind, or if they do end up running in the winter time, no ice can detour this thing from going balanced and making it not look good because we want this thing looking perfect and nice and level all the time, all year round. So let's get to it, and hopefully we get a lot of work done today because those clouds do not look promising. <laughs> pretty much 90 to 95 percent rocked in we got all our big rock set we're just coming through doing some final touches i know i'm finishing buttoning up this area in here disguising our snorkel but we got our sphere placed and leveled off that's all plumb we got a light in there shining up on this tree here so that'd be awesome the summertime when that tree is in full bloom and you get a nice dancing effect with that light but that's all done the plumbing is looked out the back so when we get our three inch line ran to the back side we can finish up that manifold to get all that ran billy right now is going through and doing a bunch of cobble beaches in here like we normally do with all our granite so he's coming doing all the detail work. We're not going to get to the edges today just because we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We're just going to keep doing the bulk work, getting all the big boulders set, the gravel in, and then keep working down our stream. That's going to go all the way down this way. But we can't get that far because this is our access with the dingo. <laughs> like to be a little bit more louder than what there was before. We got our wetland pretty much wrapped up minus edges, like we were said earlier. Tyler and Billy came through and trimmed back some of the liner. They left plenty of liner to do all the edges and stuff, but they got rid of a lot of that access just to get rid of it. And then we came over here and threw the seam in because obviously we just did not want to have one big liner going from the wetland all the way to where our pond's at. So our next best thing was to seam on, which this is a 15 foot wide by 30 foot piece that goes all the way to our edge of the pond that's going to be sitting over there. So it's going to be a meandering stream with two drops we're gonna get a drop somewhere in there going down into another stream going into the pond but we got all this wrapped up we got it all dug out we got fabric under there we got liner on top and we are gonna be just shimming around the liner getting it to where we want it to be and then unfortunately as you can tell in the distance that is rain coming i looked at the radar and we have roughly around 30 minutes or so we gotta tarp everything up move all our mats rinse down the driveway and then i think we're uh, unfortunately gonna have to call it but for us thinking that it was gonna be a complete rain day the last two days i think we've gotten a decent amount of work done considering that on the 
our first day that we were out here. We only had a whole dog. So I think we're doing pretty good on time. I wish we were a little bit farther, but everyone wishes they were a little bit farther when it comes to these projects. So stay tuned and see where we're gonna be at tomorrow. Well, it's October 31st, Halloween, and we are getting the first snowfall of the year. Probably not gonna be measurable, but it is definitely snowing out right now. Biggest pond angel ever. <laughs> It's definitely a little bit different than it was yesterday. There's probably a good two to three inches of snow on the ground in some places. And today's focus is to start digging the pond and get as far as we can. We're gonna kind of be at a chokehold because well, I have to truck all this dirt out of here that's coming out of the pond. So we brought both the trucks today. Chris and I are both gonna be driving those back and forth to the shop while Brian's kind of digging the pond out. And then when we get back here, we're gonna jump in the dingo and start loading our trucks. So hopefully this will make for a pretty good time lapse for you guys. It's a little chilly. <laughs> it's, a li it's a little chilly out here. Cheeks are getting rosy. It snowed a little bit for a while. It definitely dropped down into the 20s last night. It's also like a little windy, which is going to make my face really warm later as I thaw out. But things are moving right along. Now we're finding all kinds of weird stuff. Old electric or lights, all abandoned stuff. There's old PVC in here that was used for irrigation. We found some of that stuff. But we're moving right along. You can see Jack's coming in here, buttoning up some edges, getting that stuff done. And I really like like the way he's getting these edges done. Just a mixture of dirt and gravel. The key is to make sure that all the edges are not done the same way. So as we look in here, you can see he's got some small gravel in here, some dirt that comes right up into this spot. This would be great for like creeping Jenny, forget me nots, all kinds of different stuff. And then some big gravel over here, mixed up with some big boulders. Just keep changing it up so we avoid that necklace look that we talk about so often. Chris is doing the same on this side, getting things wrapped up. Today's goal is really to get this other liner in here and maybe even start digging the pond. We'll see how things go. I think we have an obstacle right down in here. I'm almost positive because I see that green piece of pipe that we've hit something and I can only imagine it's some drainage that comes from the house and right through this area somewhere. So we'll address that in a second and then I'll start digging. And just to show you how cold it is so you don't think I put like blush or something on here. Yes, those are ice chunks. Ice, 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 baby. <laughs> It's Halloween. <laughs> trick or treat. Yeah, trick or treat. treat. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. <laughs> All right, man. Like, so we got as far as we could before the snow really started coming down. Um, often, I think you agree with me, like when we're working with machines and stuff, the snow just, it gets dangerous. We start sliding around all over the place. We start picking up these rocks. They start slipping out of our hands. Yep. So it's supposed to stop. They're calling for like three inches. So we'll come back out here tomorrow, kind of assess the damage. And then it's supposed to warm up, like be like a balmy, like a balmy 40s. So we'll come back out here tomorrow and finish up. So that's a wrap for today. <laughs> Coming down pretty you good. You should spin around and show uh, across the way. I don't even, it's a whiteout. Yes, a total whiteout. There is a 20,000 square foot home right over there and you can't see it. So that's just how much snow we're getting right now. So I think it's fair to say, yeah, that's uh, enough for us to call it a day. I think so. Yeah, so we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go grab some soup and maybe like a grilled cheese or something. Yeah. I don't know. All right guys, I'm back in my truck here. So make sure next week you tune in to see the reveal of this project and how we finish off everything. Everything. I think we're gonna make a couple changes with waterfalls and some stone walls. It's gonna be a fun one. We'll see you next week. You know what to do, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next week.